You, why did you walk up to us to talk to you? We were a man here. Indians, that's why. Oh, the Indians, they come to America yes. because they want a better life. Yes, but please. they're obviously not living the great life in India. You are the you one who's racist. Why do you make you comments like that? You come to our country and you want You just said free. you're Mexican. How, how, how does that make I'm this you? I'm a Mexican-American. I was born what here. What makes you think that we are not were you Americans? Born here? What you makes you think that you are Because of the way you speak. Because I'm, I'm a Mexican-American, but I'm I speak to you. Leave the port of you are the one who came and talked to me. I'm she talking with my friends. Like you Indians are everywhere. If life was so great in India, why y'all here? Turn the camera off. I'm happy to talk. Turn it off. And we are, she's... You are the one who came and talked to me. This story has all the typical markers of Karenitis, a disease that causes middle-aged entitled women to behave like animals when they don't get their way. If met with resistance from people, the Karenitis will start to develop. Symptoms include dramatic outbursts, arguing with strangers about random things that don't concern them, and asking to speak to one's manager. May also include threats of suing or calling the police. A lifelong virus that can only be cured by public exposure and losing her job. I would like to add though that this middle-aged woman is typically blonde, white or white passing. In this case, makes solutions to others' problems and inconvenience to her, although she isn't even remotely affected. But this situation took on something different, usually when they can't mind their own business, as the definition from Urban Dictionary said, Karens call the police. I think so that law enforcement can hurt black, brown, or native people. But this Karen not only got physical, it looked like she was about to pull out a gun. You shut up. I swear to God. I did not talk to you. Turn it off. You will be happy to know that an arrest has been made in connection with this viral video out of Plano, Texas, showing this woman using racial slurs towards a group of Indian American women. On Thursday, August 25th, at approximately 3.50 p.m., Plano police detectives arrested Esmeralda Upton of Plano on one charge of assault bodily injury and one for terroristic threats and is being held on a total bond amount of $10,000. This racist attacking these innocent women is a realtor for California Federal Bank. She is a parishioner at Prince of Peace Catholic Church in Plano, Texas. I wonder why the cops didn't arrest her the same night, but here's her mugshot. It's amazing how fast the internet does its thing because they exposed her. And it looks like Esme Upton's socials were being scrubbed and her role at her local church was deleted. I just want to point out that this is a clear case of white supremacy and you don't have to be white in order to uphold white supremacy. Telling people of color to quote, get out of this country, along with policing accents and the ability to speak English are two sides of the same coin, which would have Andrew Jackson on one side and Monticello on the other. To think that this Karen, who proudly professed that she was Mexican, can stake her claim here in America because she says she works for her money, flexing on South Asian women for that matter, when I have been told most of my adult life that black people are the cause of our own issues, while those same people point to the economic success of Asians as model minorities. It's crazy. But the disease of Karenitis must be mutating. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.